Welcome to the Daily Reminder Network. In an effort to revive the traditions of the last and the noblest messenger. Sunnah Revival by Sheikh Mu'iz Bukhari. Sunnah of the Forenoon Prayer. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, this is Mu'iz Bukhari recording for the Daily Reminder Network. Inshallah ta'ala, for today's video, we will be touching on a very great sunnah. A sunnah that has been highly recommended by our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As is evident in the narrations where he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam encouraged great sahaba such as Abu Huraira, Abu Dhar and Abu Darda Ridwan Allah Ta'ala alayhim ajma'een in regard to doing this particular sunnah. And this sunnah is the sunnah of Salatul Duha, the sunnah of the forenoon prayer. In a very famous hadith which has been recorded in Bukhari and Muslim, Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu is reported to have said, My Khalil, my friend Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam advised me in regard to three things. Number one, to fast three days in a month. Number two, to offer Salatul Duha. And number three, to offer Salatul Witr. In regard to the virtue of Salatul Duha, Abu Dhar radiallahu anhu narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is reported to have said. And this particular narration is recorded in the book of Imam Muslim. And the narration goes along the lines of these words that every single morning upon each and every one of you, i.e. upon the joints of each and every one of you, upon the joint bones of each and every one of you, a charity is due. We have to give a charity out in regard to each and every joint of us. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went on to say that for each and every utterance of the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, alhamdulillah, it is considered an act of charity. For each and every utterance of the glorification of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanallah, it is considered an act of charity. And likewise, for each and every declaration of the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying la ilaha illallah, Allah, Allahu Akbar, this is considered an act of charity. And offering two rakat of Salatul Duha will equal all of that in reward. Allahu Akbar. From this particular narration, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, there are a number of things that can be derived. Primarily, that charity is not something, sadaqah, charity is not something confined only to one's wealth. As we discussed in one of the previous episodes, even smiling is considered an act of charity. Likewise, even these ibadat such as Salatul Duha, the declaration of the praise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all of this is also considered from acts of charity. So primarily, charity is not only confined to one's wealth. And then moving further, there's something else that can be derived from this particular narration. And that is that every single morning, upon all of our joints, and each human being has around 360 joints in their bodies. So for all of those joints, giving out charity is upon us. It is obligatory upon us. So if we were to do the adhkar, the dhikr that were mentioned in the particular hadith, we would have to say Alhamdulillah 360 times for each and every joint. Allahu Akbar for each and every joint 360 times. Subhanallah 360 times. But on the other hand, if we were to offer two rak'at of Salatul Duha, it would suffice for all of the 360 joints. What time should Salatul Duha be offered? Salatul Duha can be offered 15 minutes after sunrise and it can be offered until 15 minutes before Salatul Duhar. So say for example, if sunrise is at 6 o'clock, you can start praying Salatul Duha at around 6.15 or 6.20 to be on the safer side. And you can pray Salatul Duha until, say if Salatul Duha is at 12 o'clock, you can pray until 11.45. And how many rakat of Salatul Duha should one offer? The minimum is two rakat and the maximum is eight rakat in accordance with the hadith of Umm Hani radiallahu anha who is reported to have said that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam prayed eight rakat in that particular narration. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, 
let us act upon this great sunnah of our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and let us secure these amazing rewards from our beloved maker. Please don't forget to share this video around as much as possible to inspire others to revive this particular sunnah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward all of us and accept all of us. Ameen. Wa akhir da'wai. And alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Jazakumullah khair. Support the da'wah. Donate now. Go to thedailyreminder.org slash donate.